We have here a summer horse-drawn vehicle called a Mikado. Uh, Mikado ne uh, means Emperor of Japan. Uh, at the time, during the 19th century, the Occidental civilization was really interested in everything that was Oriental and that uh, was reflected in the uh, furnishings of their homes, their decoration, in their uh, clothing and even in horse-drawn vehicles. And this vehicle is important uh, from different point of views. Um, the first, I would say, and because it's mostly unknown, that's a vehicle for women. The main characteristics between a vehicle for women in comparison with a vehicle for men were the height of the vehicle. Often vehicles for women were lower so they were easier to get into and also the step was larger so it was easy to put your foot on. You have to remember that ladies at the time were re rearing uh, long dresses so they were pretty inconvenient to get in a vehicle and often vehicles for women uh, had the mud cards so when the vehicle was on the move you would not um, be with mud on your dresses and also often uh, a vehicle for women would have a child seat that could have been added so these were the main uh, differences between a men vehicles and the women uh, another one too before I forget is the fact that often they were wider so that the lady could really show um, her dress while she was uh, going uh, either on a social visit or during a promenade in the park. It's, and this vehicle is important too because it was manufactured by McLaughlin Carriage & Co. That's a company that was located in Ontario and uh, it was founded in 1867 and in 1918 it will become GM of Canada, General, General Motors of Canada, the famous automobile company. And this vehicle is also important because we know the provenance of the vehicle. When you do acquisitions, when you know the history of the object, it's really important, it's a um, value added and there were only two owners before the museum uh, acquired this vehicle.